All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can write application tests to verify that our application is working as expected. So this will be the different series related to testing with Laravel and Liveware. So if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can write tests related to create appointment form, this form. Create component form is a liveware component class and we'll be testing that class. So let's get started. So first of all, let me go to PSP unit.xml file and over here we need to uncomment these two line. And for database connection, we'll be using SQLite and I have already installed on this machine. So you need to install that as well. And for database, we'll be using SQLite in memory database. Okay. So now if I open up the terminal and run PSP audition test, then we have two tests passing and both of the tests are the example test. So first of all, let me remove these two tests. Okay. So on the features folder, let me remove this example test. And on the unit folder, let me remove this example test from here as well. So now let's create our own test called create appointment form test. So we'll be testing uh, this specific class, which is inside of app, HTTP, liveware, admin, appointments, and then create appointment form. And we'll be following the same directory structures. So let's do PSP artisan uh, make me a test, uh, which will be the feature test. And it will be inside of HTTP, liveware, admin, slash appointments, slash create appointment form test okay and by default it will be the feature test so let me enter this and the test is created successfully so now if we go to test and then feature we have http liveware admin and then appointments and then create appointment form test okay we have this example test so now if we run this test psp audition test uh, we have one test which is passing and this is the default example test okay and we will remove this test from here and we will create our own test and we'll start by writing the simple test so let me use test annotation and then public function so let's start by writing a simple test called when someone visited this appointment slash create page then it will render this page successfully right so let me create the function and give it a name called it can so the create appointment page okay and inside this we'll be performing two things like we'll be visiting the appointment create page and we will assert it returns 200 success status okay so let's do this now we can simply do this from the get request to this url called admin slash appointments slash create and let's assert the status is 200 okay now let's run this test and it is failing right and it is saying that expected status code was 200 but we received 302 which is redirect so to display the specific error message let's uh, disable default laravel exception handler so for that we can simply do this without exception handling okay now let me run the test again and we are getting unauthenticated error right because currently we are accessing this url without authentications right if we access this url without authentication then we will get the unauthenticated response right so we need to log in as admin so we need to simulate that for that we can simply use acting as method so this acting as and we need to pass the user for that let's use factory which is a user factory user factory and then create 
okay by default user factory comes with the laravel installation so let me import this class as well and the factory is inside of database factories and then we have user factory right let me go to test and now let me run the test again and i expect another error as well and it is saying that we do not have such tables called users right so to create the table uh, we need to use refresh our database trait so it will run the migrations for test database so let's use refresh database now let me run the test again and we are getting the failure again and it is related to middleware administrator right because we are currently acting as the normal user but to access admin slash appointment slash create page uh, we need to be admin right so to pretend that we are logged in as admin we can simply pass the another attributes called role and the role value is admin right now let me run the test again and it is passing right and this test can be very useful let me remove this comment from here if i go to create appointment form and if i miss something like let me add extra r over there and if i run the test and we are getting the syntax here right? this can be very useful if we miss something and we can verify with test that this page do not have any error right so let me go back to test and now we do not need this so let me remove this from here now let's write the actual test uh, that we can create the appointment right so let me use the same annotation and then public function it can create appointment so to create the appointment we need to be admin so let me use this line okay and we'll be using liveware to test the specific component class so we can do liveware and then test on this create appointment form class and we can call the set method and we can set the value of the state uh, with these arrays of items let's import this as well and now inside this array we can pass uh, this fields and then values okay and the field name is first one is client id and for client id i'll be using this client factory that i have created already and this is the simple factory with faker name so uh, we can simply do client factory create and get the id and for members let's say one and for color let's say black and for date let's say 20 21 27 and for time let's say 2 am and for status let's pass this as closed let me import this class as well and finally let's call the method called create appointment on our component class so we can simply do call and the method name is create appointment right and we have this method name in our component class let me import this class as well and if we go to create appointment form component class then we have this method and we are simply calling that method uh, through liveware test and finally let's assert that we will be redirected to the admin appointment space okay now let me run this test and we can run this single test using filter so we can do psp artisan test and then filter equals this function and it is failing and the issue is we need to pass order position as well so 
if I go to create appointment form, we do not have order position. So let me add order position to zero by default. And we need to pass this order position while testing as well, right? Order position to zero. Now let me run the test again. And we are getting another issue. And it is saying that the component did not perform a redirect, right? So if we go to create appointment form component class, then after creating the appointment, we are not redirecting to the appointments index space, right? So let's redirect back to the appointment index space using return redirect to the route called admin.appointments. Now let me run the test again and it is passing, right? Now let me go to create appointment form test and now let's write some extra assertions. So over here, let's do this assert database has and we need to pass the table name and the table name is appointments and as a second argument we can pass arrays of items so let's assert that on our database we have the records for the client id and let me save this as attributes okay so that i can access it here attributes and then client id now let me run this test and it is still passing, right? Uh, let me do the same for other column as well. Let me end in this. Now let me run this test again and it is failed. And the issue is with date and time. We were expecting to see this date and this time, but on the database we have this date with time and for time we are storing as date time as well. So instead of using assert database has, let's use another technique. So let me comment this for now. Uh, let me use the tab helper. So over here, let me get the first appointment. Appointment first. As a second argument, let's pass this appointment. And inside this, uh, we can simply do this assert equals attributes client id is equal to appointment client id right so we need to pass this attribute so let's do use this attributes so now let me run the test and it is passing right now let's do the same for date and time uh, so let me do this assert equals and the value is 2021 08 27 with appointment date so now let me run the test again and it is passing right so by using this technique we verified that our data are inserted on our database and while getting the first appointments from our database and when we try to access appointment date then we are getting the result this right so this can be very useful as on our application we are accessing that using appointment date and we are displaying over here so this technique can be very useful as it uh, verifies two things that our data are stored in our database and while accessing those uh, properties we get this exact result right so let's assert equals to time as well so let me do that and for time, we'll be getting as 2 a.m., right? Let me do time over here. Uh, let me run the test. And it is failing because we need to do 0, 2. And it is passing, right? So now let's do the same for members, scholars, status, and order position. So let me copy this. And the members is 1 members and date and it's the same for color the color is black the 
color and the status is closed. Closed status. And for the order position, it will be zero order position. So now let me run the test again and it is passing. So now I can remove this. And finally, let's run the full test suite. So we can simply do PSP audition test and everything is passing. We have two tests and both of them are passing. And finally, we successfully verified that our application is working as expected. So this was for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this. And till then have a great time and I will see you on the next one.